monsoon in india will it be abundant or will it be sparse how can we find out with the help of the pacific ocean of course you must be familiar with the pacific ocean as the vast expanse of water between asia and the americas this water body located thousands of kilometers away from our country has a huge impact on monsoons in india it's true let's find out how you might have heard of trade winds these are winds that flow towards the equator from the northern and the southern hemispheres in the southern hemisphere the trade winds travel from the southeast towards the equator these trade winds as they flow over the pacific ocean carry the south equatorial warm currents from south america to asia to counter the warm currents cold water rises up from the bottom of the ocean in a process known as upwelling upwelling ensures the sea surface temperature is balanced and this state generally denotes normalcy in the pacific ocean when the conditions in the pacific ocean are normal there's no impact on indian monsoons but normalcy isn't always the norm here there's a phenomenon that occurs in the pacific ocean known as el nino which in spanish means a little boy during el nino the trade winds weaken due to weakened trade winds the warm currents flow eastward this leads to the stagnation of warm currents near the coast of south america which causes a rise in sea surface temperature the warming effect can incite a change in global atmospheric circulation patterns where existing wind and weather systems are thrown off india's southwest monsoons depend on an atmospheric circulation known as the walker circulation el nino weakens the walker circulation and as a result the southwest monsoons dwindle in india which is why the rainfall during these years is quite scanty so during el nino years our country has a major rainfall deficit the agricultural sector feels the brunt of el nino as dwindling rains mean less irrigation and low produce the kharif season which coincides with the monsoons is the worst hit as kharif crops like rice cotton sugarcane and oil seeds have reduced crop yields well el nino years have an adverse impact on rains in india there's yet another phenomenon in the pacific ocean that provides an opposite effect this phenomenon is known as la nina which in spanish means a little girl during la nina trade winds over the pacific ocean are strong so to counter the south equatorial warm currents more cold water wells up leading to colder than normal sea surface temperature in the pacific ocean this in turn strengthens the walker circulation paving the way for southwest monsoons to make a grand entry so la nina years are favorable for rainfall in our country el nino and la nina usually occur every 5 years or so with the former being more recurrent our world is connected in such complex ways isn't it what else do you think our indian monsoons depend on tell us your answers in the comments below